Good morning, YouTube. I'm going to finally get this video out there for anyone who uh, was interested about landmark um, classes. Usually, people know about this uh, class through a friend who is recommending that you take this because for some reason you are deficient or feeling down or lost. Um, they never advertise these classes for a reason um, and they pride themselves for not advertisement and it's through word of mouth so let's let's get going here here's a website and when you click on the classes course details um, I'm gonna try to go over some of these things by the way I look at this from a um, uh, background I'm a um, oh scientists in a way and I want to get the content and just be objective about it and find out where the content is coming from I do have a degree in chemistry biochemistry and I went to uh, further schooling postgraduate so those are the lenses in which I see the content so here we go they have a break broken down in day one day two day three and then the evening class usually on a Tuesday um, in each of these sections I'll try to get a little bit descriptive about what they're talking about and I'll try to refer uh, where that content came from one of the things that I have found that I found a little disturbing uh, although the content is meritorious and credible they really never ever talk about where they got it at the very beginning of landmark um, they, they'll talk about this particular subject matter and basically it talks about making you aware that you know certain things and you know that you know about that subject matter and there are things that you know that you don't know and so therefore you may want to learn but the key point here is they talk about the things you don't know that you don't know uh, you don't even in this case you don't even know you have a blind spot okay so here you know what you know what's visible and here you know that you have a blind spot and but so you can turn your head look it up read about it and on so on and so forth but here in this area is what they're trying to um, let you see and you can just see the look on people's face because this is also new to them and they're like ah they have aha movement it's kinda of like a paradigm shift basically uh, they've never heard of this before until now. Well, that the thing that bothers me is this content is very, very, very good material. But the truth of the matter is they never talk about where they got it. They think it, um, they brooded up themselves and it's an original landmark content. And in the next section here, I'll talk about the allegory of the cave by Plato and this is where it all originated from um, so if you have the time go ahead and read this and um, uh, another good reference material about knowing what you don't know or not knowing what you don't know is again Socrates so there it is and if you look under there uh, you have Plato so you know if the, pe the if people want to learn more about this material it, it's all in the internet you don't have to pay a lot of money to get it so but at this time I'm going to switch gears and not cover every individual line item here um, but basically tell you where give you references where their material has been uh, borrowed from now <clears throat> if you look under Buddhism and uh, Hinduism 
specifically Krishna, uh, the Bhagavad Gita. There, there, there are things in here that they, they talk about. Uh, there are no clear right and wrong, uh, bad or good. Now, with um, Landmark, they don't want to mention Buddhism because they know that it will provoke a lot of Christians. Uh, because to a lot of Christians, there's a lot. Of, it's about good and bad, right and wrong. So they spend two to three hours talk, explaining and getting you to understand that there is no right or wrong. Um, they just didn't want to have a riot in the classroom. Okay, so let's moving on. Let's. Um, they alluded to certain aspects of our own existence. Um, and they basically <laughs> don't use use words like this existentialist or existentialism but they dance around it and they get people to think and again they have paradigm shifts and you could see people's eyes with glee saying oh my god this is all so new for me well guess what Kierkegaard wrote about this from a long long time ago and it's in the field of existentialism um, so here I'll provide links below. Later on they talk about authenticity and inauthenticity of living your life inauthentically. Um, I believe there was some one section in which there's a tendency for us to uh, look good in the eyes of others and avoid looking bad. Well again this is not new material. Nietzsche was uh, or Nietzsche uh, was um, the big proponent of this um, and he was obviously very um, vocal about the um, the Christian tendency to try to look good anyway I don't want to go through the material it's all there oh before I forget here is a YouTube section of if you wanted to learn about the great thinkers like Kierkegaard, Plato, Socrates, Nietzsche um, that has been refer uh, they didn't reference it and that's a, that, that's the problem um, this is a great site because it explains it very very concisely in in a very nice graphic way uh, animated way I guess um, it's called the um, school of life and I I always frequent that site so instead of paying a lot of money to to get material on content here's a great site and it's easy to understand um, they also talk about fear and anxiety um, quite a bit where is it? oh there it is freedom from anxiety and that's uh, day two and day one they actually talk talk about anxiety um, that's all part of Kierkegaardian existence, okay, existentialism, uh, which is basically inherent in our existence. But um, a, another area, a well-known psychologist talked about anxiety is uh, Eric Fromm, Escape from Freedom. It's a very good book, and uh, how we relinquish our freedom to make different um, choices that we have because we fear um, so it does it prevents you from seeing your possibilities and they go on again for two three hours it gets actually it gets pretty boring because the material is right there uh, before I got there so I'll put the links below and authenticity also you, you can't talk about existentialism and authenticity without talking about uh, I believe it's Heidegger Martin Heidegger so I'll leave a link below being and time you know um, another section that I think people should be aware of is uh, psychosynthesis and they landmark never talks about these big words uh, because they, again they cater to the people the average layman and they'll go to two or three hours about uh, talking about these material that's actually available out there be 
so it is good in that way that they're giving you content in a very simple way but I really wish that they would reference their material um, new possibilities breakthroughs results again this is escaping from freedom you know from Eric from um, psychosynthesis again this is related to identification you know what you identify with okay and landmark goes through the trouble uh, of having you identify what you think you are you know your identification certain things for example if you think your uh, great husband what happens when you get divorced um, if you think you're uh, a great father, well, what happens if your children die? Um, if you are a um, millionaire, well, what happens when you lose your money? Again, these are layers of the onions in which you can peel off and get down to the bottom. And this is called a, basically a disidentification exercise. Um, for many people, it's new material. Um, and this is a great area to get started in reading about it throughout the entire course of landmark they seem to think that they can replace counseling psychotherapy um, the f you know and they think there's going to be a quick fix to all of this in fact there have been many cases in which they have um, what do you call <clears throat> dismissed the importance of feelings and and they will talk about you feel this way because you have put a story behind an occurrence well that's fine and dandy and I believe that to be true but then again you don't dismiss people's feelings and that can be very very harmful um, they're not doctors and none of them have a license to practice psychiatry um, and so for that matter it could be very damaging and, it, and as you well know the one of the most basic oaths healthcare professionals have to take is do no harm well these guys are not healthcare professionals and I assure you I guarantee you they could do harm because they think it's a quick fix um, they have no clue what they're dealing with and, and, and some of these people could be really really disturbed um, and they need professional help so for that matter the other subject well that's a big subject about accountability and responsibility um, but then other subject that they don't talk about and it's not in the uh, website is there they tear you down quite a bit and make you question how you perceive reality okay I'd like to just summarize this real briefly and if you have any questions about any particular uh, content in their site just let me know make, leave a comment but this is probably the section that's most disturbing and I uh, alarming they'll they'll spend I don't know it seems like three four hours of, on the word integrity uh, making the good choices and doing the right thing um, it's like oh well who doesn't want to have integrity right <laughs> so it, it but it's a lot deeper than that being true to oneself again that has something to do about being authentic you know um, the bottom line here you'll discover that integrity resides in the ability to constitute yourself as your word to be true to your principles and ultimately to be true to yourself well they forget the fact that who you are does change over time so uh, you and when they talk about possibilities changing your possibilities and creating freedom in your life well that means it's a very dynamic thing it's not a static thing you know who you want to be who you were 10 years ago is not who you are now so there is an inner voice 
that what you said a long time ago, you can change yourself. So uh, they never really address the fact that we are not static human beings, okay? But that's not the bothering part. Th that's not the troublesome part. Uh, I will refer you to this article in the Huffington Post because I think it summarizes pretty much uh, what I'm going to cover here. Here, I'll just read this. Throughout the program, one must have integrity and honor one's word. Cannot help but make anyone feel like a better person. So where's the rub? Why are they, sub are they subject to lawsuits and claims of being a cult? The common criminal aspect of Landmark's insistence on this methodology is precisely that, that its insistence on its methodology. I clocked two hours the first de day devoted to spreading the word of Landmark Forum as a sign of participants, to sign integrity. If they had integrity, they would like Martin Luther King and Gandhi, take courage to spread the belief of Landmark Forum to all their friends. Enroll them in their program. Now, this word enroll is heavy. Um, in fact, Landmark relies on obsessed volunteers t to run it. Why it inspires upper middle class people around the world at $700 a weekend, it's only for those with means, not only to enroll, but to continue taking classes, which oddly enough get more expensive as one gets more advanced. Now, the enrolling part is if you, ha if you want to be a genuine person or have integrity, they brainwash you to believe that enrolling others is part of your integrity. I don't get that. So, participants have heard the argument drone in their ears for nine hours in a period of 72, began to cheer and smile as they raised their hands to say they too had the courage to stand for the, for the forum. This was brainwashing. Now, personally, I have two friends that I have seen. Uh, I have seen them get brainwashed and I feel bad for them uh, I attended the class and when I saw the brainwashing uh, it was readily apparent uh, but for some it is not so that is my word of caution um, the material is good content but it's content that you can have on your own but they do explain it rather easily and and um, you know, rather than using big words like a psychosynthesis. Um, but I don't like their brainwashing and, in a way, plagiarizing. Um, and I do think that they can do harm because they think that they can replace uh, professional help for some of these people that are um, uh, having, struggling with certain issues. So, um, have a blessed day. I hope that I was of help to somebody. Um, I guess I'm being authentic, and I do want to help people. Thank you.